Hi, I'm Jared Brown, product service engineer for Cat Medium Excavators. And November means a lot of things to different people, but to us, it's annual product update time. And luckily, the APU for 2025 just dropped this morning, so I snuck out here to our Edwards facility and jumped in one of the machines to see what's all in it. And <clears throat> one of the main things your operators are gonna see is how quickly the monitor starts back up. Other thing uh, that an operator is gonna see is with uh, the user interface, the uh, icons are, are nicely laid out. They're easy to go through. And the other big changes is with our payload. And we've improved how our payload system, uh, which is great because we're now more in line with some of our other products, uh, especially our wheel loaders. And we have our typical way mode, and we also have a what's called a stockpile mode. So that stockpile mode is when you're not really loading a truck, you're just moving material from one area to another area, uh, and you want to understand how much that is. Uh, but if we get into the screen, we can see how it's laid out there. Uh, you can easily go in here and, and uh, change your materials, change your trucks, And you can also put things in uh, about your location, which company, the weather of that day. And also there's a thing called advanced payload, which is taking place of our grapple payload. Uh, it is an SEA, uh, but with that advanced payload, you can send e-tickets for the weights of the trucks uh, through email and, and there'll be some more information put out on that later. Now, for the dealer side of things, we try to simplify what it takes to make all this easy to use features work. Uh, it takes a little bit to set these machines up. Uh, over, we're, we're measuring up buckets. We're uh, having to get the dimensions of all the work tools set up right. Uh, so there's accuracy involved just not in the payload, the weighing, but measurements for grade uh, uh, and calibrations of the system for assist and such. When we go into our work tools, so for example, this factory bucket here, one thing that a dealer would notice is it comes in here and you'll see everything's laid out for what uh, you want to use that bucket for, that work tool for. So are we going to use it for grade? Are we going to use it for e-fence? Are we going to use it for autos or assists? Are we going to use it for payload? Are we going to use it for lift assist? And so as you're setting your bucket up and putting your dimensions in there, you can choose up front which calibrations you want to do. So as you go through the bucket setup process, it will take you through just the bare minimum uh, and it saves a lot of time. Uh, you'll notice that there's a manual measure up. Uh, what that is is basically how we've been measuring up our work tools for say, since E series, F series. That's the old way of doing things and we wanted to make sure that was up front. Now, if we unclick that, this is kind of the new way uh, and what this shows is the different couplings and then the work tool attachment. Now, what does that mean? So say this machine has a coupler. We can go in there and just download by part number the coupler from the cloud into the machine and boom, it'll pop all that information in there so you don't have to measure it up. So you got a thumb and we, use, uh, we now allow a lot of easy use features with the thumb. So boom, you can hit that second coupling, choose your thumb, put your part number in, download those dimensions from the cloud. Then your work tool attachment, put your bucket in there, download those dimensions, and you've got it all there. Now, there's always concern of, well, what if these are older tools? Is there pinware and such? Uh, there will, There is, when you go through this process, a button that will calculate all those measurements uh, and take up for any of that uh, maybe discrepancies that there might be from pinware and, and older work tools. Um, and there's what we call a three point calibration where we go out there and we measure three points and three positions of the bucket. And that will allow for uh, any of that makeup for that, uh, any accuracy uh, issues that there might be. Uh, also, you can go in at any time uh, think of it as kind of like a bucket zero process on your payload. You could go in there and do that three-point measure up and it'll take up for any of uh, the inaccuracies due to pinware and so forth. 
Uh, but yeah, you should be seeing these on your machine shortly. Again, this is for APU 2025 builds, and uh, which they're starting to build today. Look forward to for you guys to experience it. Thanks.